head weight from Fiomaye. Look at his cheek. All of his head weight is through the rear of the rifle. But look how green his light is. 17.8 inside Johannes uh, Kuhn settling on the range. In fact, inside Cheng, uh, who previously had the leading time of 9.14. So the lead is going to change. Uh, getting the world's allocation of silver. <laughs> He put that right uh, in the years to follow. Good shoot so far, that last one in the 10. He goes just a tiny bit high right, but that was an excellent group. Uh, still, we don't see a smile from uh, Ziggy Maze, but uh, that will come if he hits five in the stand as well. <laughs> the first shooter, Arm Pfeiffer down, oh, 34 seconds behind. Johannes Tungis. Having skied hard, he knows how important the five are. 15.8 to a 29.5. He can shoot a good five seconds quicker, but Mike, avoiding the penalty loop was the key. Very much so. Very, and to get his prone on the, sp on the ball again, spot on, I think that's a big part of his race now. Get through the prone and just do as normal in the standing. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to watch his speed relative to Phil Maye on this second. Five out of five, and the pressure suddenly swings onto Johannes Tingis. Oh. Oh, he's got it. He's got that perfect shoot. Uh, Martin Foucault will no doubt get that news at some stage. Four seconds outside Johannes Tingis. Oh, still a quick time. It's a, he's chasing Johannes' time, and that's the strategy from Johannes to make Martin work harder than maybe he wanted to at this stage. Well, Phil Maillet is in the running for the overall as well, lying in second position. His brother cleared five. There's no rush. Unbelievable. Oh, isn't that Unbelievable. incredible? Unbelievable. With such pressure. Uh, and he's going to come out and uh, get the splits on Phil Maillet. Eh? So often in the World Championships, it was both the big Frenchmen starting after uh, Johannes Tingisburg. So they were the ones that knew what they had to do. Oh, this is uh, phenomenal racing. Uh, I thought uh, Phil Maillet's time was... Uh, as always, looks a li little bit like a rag doll as he comes down the home straight. Oh, he gives it. He's the man you want if you want someone to fight for you. But look at the time, so close to his teammates. Wow. Inside Pfeiffer with two misses. Uh, Aunt Pfeiffer only missing once. Fiore Maillet uh, out of the blue, very quick into the stadium. 123 inside Benedict Doll. Now, after the second shoot, uh, he was 130. Oh, actually, no, he was going to win Gigana uh, likewise. Here comes Tadej Bo. Is he going to get another top? five keep his hopes alive it's looking uh, difficult for him in terms of the overall 38.3 and after the second shoot Tadir Burr still lying in the nine seconds yeah quite quite I think Oleana got it down to seven from rifle off rifle back on having hit five 7.7 7 seconds this is a, an incredible performance from Johannes Tingis Burr yeah, the win is in the bag. We only had to wait for three athletes to cross the line in the women's uh, 22 this time round. No one's going to touch that. And Johannes Tingis with another 60 points to his name.